here we are on a fine Sunday in pretty sunny Costa Rica. We are in the rainforest, primary jungle. We planted trees here on our FSC certified reforestation project beginning in 1994. Here we made a little path down in the jungle. We've got a nice little tree down here we want to uh, show people. This tree was named Aaron after a young lady who fought very hard for a couple of years and died of cancer. I took a little video here a few minutes ago of a beautiful poison dart frog. We have jaguars on this farm, ocelots, puma, mountain lion, giant scarlet macaws, the red, blue, green, and yellow parrots that look like they were designed by somebody on acid, 40 inches tall. I saw on National Geographic where there are only 3,000 squirrel monkeys left in the world. This farm has at least 100 of them and they are not accustomed to humans. They see you and they squeak and run and hide. There's our little tree. I measured that in 95 and it took 21 of me to reach around it. Measured it about a year ago and it took five more of me. And I may have shrunk a little bit and my belly's a little bigger, but there's no way that that tree didn't grow at least 20 feet in circumference in the last 20 some years. We put a little trail in here so it's easier for older people and kids to get down here. I think we're gonna set up a little platform down here so you can come take a nap or write a poem or read a book or kiss your wife or whatever. It's pretty easy to get in here now. It used to be harder. We figured out the best way to get in here, low impact, walk in. I just found a place in the tree. In fact, I'm gonna put a little, tr a little tunnel underneath it. In terms of size, I don't know, up there maybe 30 feet above the ground, it might be eight feet diameter, nine feet. Down here around the roots, it would be 100 feet. There's a gentleman up there so you can kind of see a scale. Here's where I'm gonna dig underneath it a little bit, but we'll wait for another day. We're tuckered out. It's a tough day, even if we are working in the shade. But here, a slender person can slide through that little hole and then it saves you about five minutes instead of walking around the tree, so we'll do that soon. There we go, going up. I don't know what I've got over my head now. Maybe a hundred tons. There's thousands of orchids, epiphytes, all kinds of amazing things in the ecosystem that makes up this tree. Probably not that old, 150, 200 years old. I'll take you down here and see around it. I just hopped over this root. Held up like I was trying to ride a 2,000 pound bull. Pretty impressive tree. We've got a nice lot up here above, 360 degree view. I call it the Eagle's Nest. You can see the ocean, Manuel Antonio, the most popular national park in the country. There's beautiful river, mountains. It's pretty easy to get in here now. We put some water bars in here, so hopefully there won't be much erosion in the rainy season. We'll come back in a year and see how it looks. Hope you can make it down to democratic Costa Rica. The people are very friendly and Nature down here is like nature in the U.S. on steroids. We never get any freezes. The bugs keep growing year-round. We've got all kinds of flora and fauna that would blow your mind. We've cut down trees on our reforestation projects and found mama and baby sloth in them, and we take them over into the jungle. Here's a little guy eating something. You see him? He's pretty well camouflaged. That looks like a basilisk. Boy, he's fast. Look at him come up that tree. You see him? Yeah. He's showing off for the girls. Some of them pop out this thing in their gullet or throat, make some noise, show how big they are. Those are good little guys, they eat a lot of mosquitoes. Here we put a little tra trail in here. Thinking about putting a platform in, starting at this big root here we could sit on and go out, but we'll show you some progress here little by little. We've been down here planting trees for 27 years and trying to help a lot of schools, bridges, poor people buy homes and send their kids to high school and even university. We may not be that big, but we certainly made the world a better place. At the beginning here, when we came in, it was very difficult earlier today, with beating up and big berm here and stuff, but we cleared out. These two guys here are worth their weight in gold. They may not be so religious though, because we're working on a Sunday. Here we are. Have a great day and a better night.